So there's been another update to Kodi. There's a latest update for Kodi out. Currently, we are now up to version Kodi 20.2 Nexus. It's never ending, but these updates come out for a reason. They come out for security fixes. They come out for fixes on bug fixes. Any little issue which might be happening on the Kodi version. So what we're going to do, we're going to show you how to install to the latest version on your Fire Stick. Similar process can be used on an Android box or your mobile phone if you don't know the process on those. But obviously on a Fire TV or a Fire Stick, the process is slightly different. So we're going to show you how to update it or install for the first time. It's not a problem. So we're going to show you how to run through that now. For those of you who don't know, so Kodi is an application in the official Google Play Store. Um, it's a media player. Kodi Media Player allows you to watch your own media, um, whether you have movies, TV shows, all throughout the media player. You can control your other apps, you can control your music, you can listen to other music, and there is official add-ons you can add to it, and I'm sure there is unofficial add-ons you can add to it as well. Well, what we're going to do is show you how to install it onto the Fire TV stick, Fire Stick, and we're going to do that for you now. Nice and simple. Everybody who's watching this will be able to do it. So, first of all, let me know underneath, are you a Kodi user? Are you a Kodi user or do you prefer just to use individual apps or just watch your media directly? And obviously hit that subscribe button. Make sure you check it out. We've got tons of videos here for streaming all over the channel. So make sure you do that as well. So back on our Fire Stick. Before we get going, for any of you who have any issues, feel free to drop comments underneath or come find us in our Discord, which is also linked in the comments or the description. And we have a whole Kodi section there where we can help you out with any setups and issues you may be having. Okay, so this is your standard Fire TV interface. And to install this, we're gonna need the downloader app. For any of you who already have the downloader app and want to skip this part, this is where we go to the install. So jump to this bit here, this time. Okay, so for the rest of us, we're gonna go to the magnifying glass we're going to type in here, downloader, D-O-W-N, and you will see it appear underneath, downloader. We can click that, and what you need to do now is install this application. Click it and install it, but do not open it yet. Don't open it yet. Once it's fully installed, we go back to our home screen, and we're going to go all the way across to settings. You're going to go to My Fire TV and you'll click on developer options. For anyone who does not have developer options in their list, there is a video in the description again on how to get developer options. Hopefully you all have that by now, but if you do not, that video is there, and then come back to this one. So click on developer options, you turn on ADB debugging on, install unknown apps, turn it on for downloader. Okay, brilliant. Now, back to our home screen, and what we're gonna wanna do is open this downloader app. If you can't find it, go to these three squares and a plus, go down to my apps and you'll find all your apps in here. So you'll find download it in here somewhere, click it and we're going to open it. Okay. Now everybody would have caught up. What we're going to do in this entry URL or search term, what you need to go to is docsquiffy.com forward slash downloads. Again, that is in the description and the pinned comment under this video. You can check it out on your mobile phone if you want to do it there first or you can use it on an Android TV box or anything like that. And if you are using this downloader, you can actually type 75726 just to make it a little bit quicker to save you having to type that whole long URL in. So type 75726, click go, and that will load up my website for us. While we are waiting, that is a prime time for you to hit that subscribe button. It's a good time for you to drop any comments or any questions underneath. And let's load through. Okay. So what we're going to do now is you're going to scroll down. You're going to find Kodi 20.2. It's currently in the new updates and new APKs. If it's not there, scroll down to um, media players here and you'll see it here as well. There's a version here for Amazon Fire Stick and Fire TV. The 20.2 32-bit version. Click it. If an advert comes up, just click on the close. And then just scroll down to where it says download. You click that download and boom, we're off. Remember, if you are upgrading from 20.1 to 20.2, you shouldn't lose anything you already have in there. If you are going from something like 18.4 up to 20, you may lose what you've already got installed. The golden rule sometimes is if something's working, you don't need to fix it. Okay. 
And remember, we are not showing you how to get free movies or free TV shows. We are just showing you how to install a media player. So you click install. And then you click done. You delete this file to keep your storage nice and empty and delete. And then back on your home screen, you will need to find that application. Again, if you can't find an application, you go to the free squares and the plus, you go to my apps and yours will be right down the bottom here. Mine's at the top because I moved it. If you want to move it, you push the free line button and you can move it wherever you want. Doesn't matter. We can put it there. We can open it. And here, Kodi version 20.2 you'll see in the bindle there. Make sure you accept any permissions it asks. If you do not accept the permissions, it will not work properly. And here we are, we're into Kodi, where you can link up your movies, your TV shows, everything like that. This video is just how to install the media player. If you're interested in more about the setting up side of things, we can talk over a little bit of it in Discord, or you will find many other videos on YouTube, I'm sure. But have a play. There's loads of blogs and internet um, files out there to have a play with, but the whole idea is to manage your own media. And that's the whole thing. There is some free add-ons in the application. So you can go to add-ons if you want to. Um, you can click on add-ons. You can go to download. If you then go to video add-ons, you might find a few free add-ons in there. You'll find some official add-ons. These are all in the official Kodi repo. And have a little look through as well. You might find some more stuff you like. Brilliant. Okay, before we leave, like we say, that is available for phones in the official Google Play Store, um, which is obviously Google on YouTube, so it's no problem with having Kodi itself. Remember, if you are doing things online, a quick word from one of our partners. If you are interested in a VPN, link directly underneath is IPVanish VPN. IPVanish VPN is one of the best VPNs in the world. It's one of the most popular. It's huge, and we are partnered with them. We're lucky enough to be partnered with them. So if you are after a VPN and you do sign up, we do get a small commission. Obviously, we're not going to become millionaires from this commission. It's only $2.92 a month. So we're not going to make it much money, but if a few of you do it, it does help us do what we do and help support the channel so we can continue to bring you great videos and hopefully keep you all up to date with everything streaming related as we do it. So that link's underneath as well. So do, if you feel free, we don't take any donations. We don't have any Patreon or any memberships. So if you feel free, do check it out for us there. And obviously, like I said, subscribe to the channel. We've got many other videos on Cody here. We've got other streaming apps. We've got how to watch cricket. We've got Roku devices, Android TV, VPNs, news, all on one website, all on one YouTube channel. The Doc Squiffy channel is at 535,000. We would love to finish the year off at 600,000. That would be unreal. To do that, we need your support. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate you all, and I'll see you soon.